I'm Rob Phillips, the archivist responsible for the Welsh Political Archive at the National Library of Wales, and I'm going to look at uh, some items from our collections to mark 20 years since the opening of the National Assembly for Wales in 1999. Now, the campaign before the Assembly started many years before, but in 1997 we saw a quite spirited campaign, uh, both for and against the establishment of the National Assembly. And we have a number of items from that collection, including some, uh, some leaflets from the No campaign, uh, and also from the Yes campaign, including a number of celebrity endorsements, uh, such as uh, Tony Blair and uh, Ryan Giggs. And of course, uh, no campaign is complete without a t-shirt. This one is from the Leighton Andrews collection and contains an endorsement from Ron Davis, the Secretary of State for Wales, uh, was given just after the, uh, the victory in the, uh, in the referendum campaign. During the referendum campaign, uh, this leaflet was distributed to every house in Wales, and that was a very important element to getting the message about the referendum out to the public. It was based on this document, which is uh, far more uh, uh, detailed, and is the white paper which uh, provided the basis for legislation which enabled the Assembly to be set up. The campaign for the Assembly featured prominently in the news media in Wales. Across the UK, not quite so much so, but there was interest in, in that internationally including in the um, campaign files of the Yes for Wales campaign, uh, letters from uh, the international leader, including this one, from the Kurdish Daily requesting a pass for the post-referendum party, which was held to celebrate the victory. Of course, after the uh, uh, referendum, uh, a great deal of work was carried out to legislate for the Assembly, and then there was the campaign for the first elections in 1999. And we collected from those elections uh, leaflets from every constituency and every party in Wales. Uh, those form part of our political ephemera collection, which we're still collecting today, and include leaflets for um, people like Carolyn Jones, who later became the First Minister, uh, Nick Bourne, who later became uh, the leader of the opposition, Kirsty Williams, who is currently the Minister for Education in the Welsh Government, and for Ellen Jones, who is the um, presiding officer now of the National Assembly. And this collection is a very important one, reflecting all the campaigning issues that took place in that election. When the Assembly opened in 1999, uh, the records of the Assembly and what was discussed and agreed are kept in the official record. Uh, we have copies of the official record here in the National, National Library, and these show such important issues and events such as the election of the presiding officer and the first secretary of the National Assembly on the day that the Assembly opened. Moving on from that, of course, we had elections uh, in 2003 and again in 2007. And the 2007 elections were quite difficult for the Labour Party and ended up with the mathematics in the Assembly meaning that a government formed of Plaid Cymru, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats was possible. And amongst the files we hold here in the Welsh Conservative Party Assembly Group archive are papers related to the discussions that took place between the three parties following the election uh, to develop a potential programme of government. That of course didn't take place in the end uh, when the uh, coalition government was formed between Plaid Cymru and the Labour Party, but it's an interesting record of what could have been in terms of an alternative government for Wales. And lastly, we have legislation from the Assembly. Uh, in 2006, an Act was passed to allow the Assembly to pass its own primary legislation. The first law was the NHS redress measure. Uh, this is the NHS Wales redress measure that was passed by the Assembly in 2008. We also have copies of other legislation, including this one, which is a really quite well-known one. This is the Human Transplant Act from 2013. What makes these really important is they're not copies of the legislation in the same way as you can buy in a bookshop or download from the internet. This is actually the original legislation. And they're all signed by the Clerk of the Assembly to show that they have received the Royal Assent and also come with a set of letters patent. And those contain a seal of the Assembly and the signature of Queen Elizabeth II, and those signify that their actual legislation have been endorsed and received the royal assent. We continue to collect material from the National Assembly, and we hope that the 20th anniversary celebrations will be a good opportunity to ensure that even more material comes in so this period can be studied in greater depth in the future.